Hello guys, Tav HD here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the ESDDI or SD Softbox Studio Lite. And I'm also going to be setting them up in this video because they do require some assembly. So let's get started. First off in the box, we get the user manual, and as you can see, it is by SD, and that is a picture of what the lights will look like, because you do get two in this box, which is very good for the price. Then, next, if we look inside, I'll just tip it over, we have one, two tripods that the lights can go on. Let's put that to the side and see what else is in here. Okay, so this is going to be the bag that we can put the lights in if we're travelling for example because they are quite compact. Then also we have the two light bulbs, this is one of them and then the other one is in here too. And in here we are going to have the actual softbox surrounds themselves, that's one of them. And then this is going to be the other one in here. Now let's get rid of this box and take a look at the individual pieces. First off, let's take a look at the light bulbs. Of course, we get two because we have two soft boxes. And inside the box here, it comes nicely packed in some polystyrene. Can you just pull that out? Nice and tight to try and prevent damage in shipping. So let's look at this now. That is a very large bulb. Now, compared to my iPhone 8 Plus, you can see that it is definitely a lot bigger, so this should be an extremely bright light once it's set up. And of course there's another bulb in there, but I'm not going to unbox that because it will just be the same. Okay, next let's look at one of the tripods. It's in this long box here, and I believe it can be extended up to 2 meters, so that should definitely be tall enough for most scenarios. So, I'll just pull it out. Move the box off to the side, nothing else in there, oops. And now let's take a closer look at this if it can fit in frame. So it's inside a plastic bag here. Take that off. And as you can see, the light is going to attach onto the end here and we can extend the length, as I said, up to two meters. So this should be good and I believe the base it comes out, there we go, just like that, so it's nice and secure. Last up in the box we've got the actual reflective head that the bulb is going to go into. So it comes in a nice cloth pouch here, just looking at how to open it. There is velcro on the end so we can open that up and we can see straight off there's the plug. You can just pull all of this out, take that off to the side, and now let's take a closer look at this. So as you can see, as I extend it, here is the light diffuser that attaches over the end with Velcro, I believe, so that'll be useful for getting quite a soft light effect from it. Here's the plug, as I've already said. That just goes into the wall, just like anything else would. And then we can open this up, and you can see the reflective material in there to bounce off all the light. As you can see, this isn't really keeping its shape very well, so I believe you have to push this inside, and that clips, and then it should line up with the bit that the bulb goes into, and that will keep it in shape. And there we go, clipped in just as it should, and now it's nice and sturdy. Now we've put the actual softbox together, I can go through how to put the bulb in. So, quite simple, just like any other sort of light bulb, it just screws in. Make sure that it's on a good angle, and just make sure it's tight, not too tight though. That seems just about fine in there now. Now, when it comes to setting it up on the tripod, the metal bit of the tripod simply just goes into the base of the lamp and you just screw it in with that bit there. And then to adjust the height, you can just undo these screws and make it higher or lower. To attach the diffuser part, 
with the Velcro, it just attaches on here. However, I am having trouble getting it to line up, but I'm sure it's quite simple when you know how. Okay, so I'm in my office now where I usually film these videos. And right now I've just got the ceiling light on and the one LED filming light that attaches to the top of my camera. But now I'm going to turn on one of the softbox lights. There we go. And then I'll turn the other one on as well, which is at the other side of me. And that's with both of them on. And as you can see, that makes the room a lot brighter and will improve the quality of these videos. And with all lights in the room off, that's what it's like. And with just my little LED recording light, that's how much brighter it makes that. But we'll turn that off and we'll just use these soft boxes. So that's one of them. And then that's the other. So, yep, very bright indeed. I just want to talk about the stands for a moment. I initially thought that they didn't go very wide at the bottom and I was having tr troubles with the lights almost falling over. But I finally discovered after about three weeks of having them that they actually go wider so they don't just fall over. But it's actually quite tricky to make them go as big as they possibly can. So that is something that you need to think about before buying these. Apologies, I was just interrupted there, but I think that that is the end of this video now. I've said everything that I need to say, and overall I think these lights are very good for the money. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.